Hello everyone, my name is Shaban Ibrahim. I am working as a functional consultant in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Today we are talking about item model group. The item model group field is used to determine how items are controlled and handled or receipt issued and also calculating consumption. An item model group can be assigned to multiple items which can assist in the control of several items using the same setup. Then uh, we, f we will further explain the field that can be selected when setting up an item model group. You can go to uh, inventory through inventory management, then setup and inventory, then you will go to item model group. First, we will make new here. Suppose we will create weighted average. So here in the inventory policy, first we will select stock product. Select this option to indicate that the product should be handled in inventory products that are handled in inventory generate inventory transactions. This product can be included in cost calculation. On hand, the quantity can also be maintained for this product. Stock the product include item and service. A service cannot be added to stock. However, the program requires that Pro forma stock transaction be generated for service that contribute to the inventory value of tangible goods. <coughs> so here, uh, when you need to add this the, uh, the item to the stock, you must select checkbox stock product. Here in the inventory model, you will see some options like FIFO, LIFO, LIFO date, weighted average, weighted average date, and standard cost and the moving average. FIFO here, first in, first out. This is mean this is it, you must put in consideration the product we, we already purchased earlier must uh, uh, issue first. So LIFO, LIFO here, this is mean the product we purchased uh, last you must uh, issue first and life with it and also with it average here mean the average cost for example you purchase item let us see today uh, by $100 and uh, or we can uh, told we purchase the item previous months $100 and this month $200 so when you issue the item from the warehouse it will be 100 the cost it will be 100 plus 200 multiply or sorry or divided by 3 this is mean the cost it will be 150 this is mean weighted average and standard cost mean the uh, you will add the cost as standard way or as budget amount so here this is the inventory model so we will go again to cost price. Let us see what mean cost price. First, we will uh, explain what mean include physical value. Include physical value is that the transactions that are physical, physically updated should be included in calculating the average cost. Select this option to indicate that transaction that are physically updated should be included in the calculation of the average cost. At inventory close, this is parameter may be used depending on the method that is used for inventory valuation. The following inventory valuation method uses parameter during inventory close, FIFO, LIFO, and LIFO date. The following inventory valuation Method, method don't use this parameter during inventory close. Weighted average and the weighted average day. Then, fixed price, fixed receipt price used to adjust the issue and receipt to a fixed price. Select this option to adjust the issues and the receipt 
to a fixed price that fixed price is principal for inventory valuation that sets a price of receipt to activate plan cost or basic cost of product the fixed price is defined in the price field on the manage cost tab in the release product details page when this option is selected receipt and the issue are posted as the follow for purchase receipt posting occur at the actual cost for purchase invoice the price difference between the actual cost and the fixed receipt price is posted to general ledger as a variance the amount is posted to the loss or profit account for the fixed receipt price inventory is updated based on fixed receipt price and for sales order packing slip and sales invoice posting occurs at the estimate cost when you run the inventory close or recalculation if this option is selected the value of issue transaction is adjusted according to the price that is specified in the price field if this option is clear the, the value of issue transaction is not adjusted according to the price if the fixed receipt price is changed and you want to you want all new issue transaction to use the new cost follow this step run an inventory close adjust the balance for the for the on hand inventory so that is the balance matches the new cost and then activate a new planned cost post physical inventory here mean you you can when you make uh, select this option to post physical item transaction in the ledger when you mean you need to uh, sorry when you uh, receipt purchase order so uh, if you need during receipt the PO or during receipt item you need to uh, post journal to ledger so you must select post physical inventory to post physical item the transaction in the ledger this physical item transaction are posted as a follows packing slip and product receipt so you can uh, this is option you can select this option so you uh, the system will create journal or voucher during product receipt or packing slip <coughs> but you must select also the account viewable parameter page or if it's a post backing slip in ledger option is selected in the account receivable parameter form and the production order that's report as finished are posted if the post report finished in ledger option is selected in the production control parameter page if this option is clear, the backing slip, product receipt, and the production order that are reported as finished are not posted to GL. Post the financial inventory if checkboxes will post update financial value of this item in ledger. Select this option to post and update the financial value of item in the ledger when purchase order is invoice updated. Updated. The value of the item is posted to the inventory receipt account when sales order is invoice updated the value of the item is posted to inventory issue and the consumption account the inventory value that is posted can then be reconciled with the related states account in gl ledger if this option is clear the when you purchase order is invoice update the value of item is posted to the item consumption account but not posted to inventory receipt account when sales order is invoice updated no posting occurs in the item consumption account or the issue account clear this option for service item if the item consumption should not be posted when sales order and post when this option is clear the journal lines for the item don't generate ledger posting so it, this it is important to select this post financial inventory because if you don't select this is mean you will make separate system will make separate module between the uh, gl and the inventory management so Inshallah, this is uh, enough today for the item model group. In next session, we will uh, also explain field by field. I hope this is benefit for you. Thank you.